for the next episode. But for first impressions, hello everybody. The day has come. Forza Motorsport here on the channel. First drifts here for today. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All is found in the description box below. Let's get into this. So if you guys remember back in the day, I used to drive this in ESDA, this Forza Edition Camaro. So I have it because of early access and VIP. So let's go full send. I believe we did a few tweaks. Nope, I don't want to go there. We did a few tweaks to the car setting. And that is just simply we increased some tire pressures. But I think I want to go back to... The car's defaults. And we're going to try it in the car's default settings. So we're going to go back to default settings. And we're just going to go full send. First drifts here on Forza Motorsport. Super excited to be back here on Forza. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Preparing my stream deck. Likes to mess with my controls. So we're gonna go full send. Mildly send. Um, okay. Lime Rock Park. Probably one of the biggest tracks I've ever drifted in Forza. And we're getting it? Okay, so <laughs> this is absolutely incredible right now. Oh, I gotta get used to that clutch. That clutch timing off in this game is a little bit uh, screwy. But I mean, for first drift? Oh, I can't see anything out of this. Oh, that's so weird. This car has such a bad blind spot. We're going to go back. We're going to try the uh, Lion Rock entry. This car does not have the greatest steering angle. So we kind of got to mildly... Uh, Control our angle, we can't go super crazy, but we, oh, we blocked out. We should have clutch kicked. So we are on the R12, and I'm actually very impressed that the R12 was working. I was not sure if my R12 was going to work because it did not say that the R12 is a compatible wheelbase from the get-go on the uh, wheelbase settings. So we may pull the R9 with the old CS wheel out, one that is on the list, and see if it force feedback feels any different. But I'm actually, uh... Quite impressed with how this is feeling. It gets a little numb when you're sideways. Now, we gotta dial some wheel settings in, so... Of course, there's gonna be a lot of wheel setting changes and a lot of things that we need to... Fine-tune. Uh, right there is where steering lock it hinders me. A lot of things we have to fine tune, of course, but we're actually not doing too, too bad at all. Oh man! For Forza Edition, we lost it. So, first drifts is I'm uh, actually quite impressed with how that is so far. So let's go back. To the event menu we'll change cars and try some other cars maybe a street car maybe the a90 that we have because we do have a couple cars with you know getting in the access can we select car yes we can that's awesome so we do have an m4 comp um this is the only cars we can currently use buy or rent cars can we rent a car oh now we got all the cars 
Let's see what cars it allows us to actually use. We have an E92 M3 GTS. We already have that. So there's not many cars that we can actually use. I don't feel like buying a full car. So uh, I want to see... We'll go back to my cars. We'll get the M4. We'll go see about tuning this thing. I honestly think it's just going to be... Uh, make sure we're on full max steering and... Well, we're just going to go full send. We don't want to select car. We want to just drive the car. So we're going to go full send with the M4 and see how a street car feels because that was a Forza edition car. Um, okay. So now we're on more of a street tire, I feel. Absolutely no steering lock. Oh, but we kind of held it. Nope. As I said that, we totally lost it. So the whole car, see, the gets very light there when it's sliding. I don't know. I think that might just be a lack of grip in the game because I noticed that when we were doing the entry level thing also that when you would lose grip in the front, the wheel gets super light. So I wonder if that's just a testament to the actual game physics. Something we may have to uh, figure out and fine tune in some wheel settings. But overall, super happy to be back here in Forza Motorsport. Let me know down below if you guys are playing Motorsport Early Access. See right there, it gets really light as you can see. It's kind of very floaty and I don't know if that's something about the wheel settings or things like that or maybe it's the wheel force feedback because I did have to click invert force feedback to get the feedback to actually work correctly with the R12 so I'm wondering if that might be why so I may switch to the R9 and see if that feels any different for the next episode But for first impressions, there's a lot of fun going to be happening with this game. I want to get a good solid, uh, good solid sideways and get a good, uh, nice picture. So like I said, let me know down in the comments if you guys are playing Forza Motorsport in the early access, if you're waiting for it to come out on Game Pass or whatnot. I'd be very curious to see. Like I said, super excited to be back here. First drift here on Forza on the PC. I mean, it looks good. I mean, we're kind of getting it. Almost. I mean, we're 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 kind of getting it. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff here on the channel with Forza, with car progressions, drift builds, and stuff like that. Fine tuning wheel settings and things like that. I need to be able to find the pause button. When I'm drifting, I looked down at my wheel. <laughs> I was trying to find the pause button so that I could like pause mid drift. I do have it set. Maybe go into photo mode. So I think that's gonna do it. First drift here on Motorsport. Let me know what you guys think. I said, if you guys are on here there's the pause button photo mode photo mode so we do have our course our nice photo mode that we can uh start to mess around with figure out how to move around i think it's probably aw yep there it is so definitely super excited to be back here on forza we're gonna definitely uh take that photo and see where that saves so make sure you guys follow me on all social media i'll the description box below 
I do appreciate it. Come back for the first episode here on Forza Motorsport. On PC, new Forza Motorsport. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.